Well, there it is. Old corduroy road, the old timers. Guys in their 80s always said this stretch of road here in Brighton Township was an old corduroy road. And I'll be damned. It's the first time I've ever seen that on this road. It's right at the surface. Them old timbers. Wonder what those are made out of. Just going through a swamp here. I happen to just stop near one of my pastures and take a little branch off the fence. And I got out. I'm out here going to deliver hay. Last load of first cutting square bales I have for the year. Wish I had a few thousand more of those. I just wonder how old those are. And what kind of timber they use. There's some big logs go all the way across. I don't know if you can hear that humming or not. But I'm out in a, one of my alfalfa fields and it's got this damn hoary alyssum everywhere. Um, I found something hoary alyssum's good for, besides ruining your hay. There's honeybees everywhere in this. I mean, you can just hear a humming all around me. I mean, they're everywhere in this horse. So this hoary alyssum is like a member of the mustard family. And it causes a laminitis in horses. Not all horses are susceptible to it. Um, they say the quarter horse type horses are a lot more susceptible to it. Because uh, I've known, and yeah, I've known people that have fed it, had no problems. And then people have just a little bit of this in their hay and they have a problem. So this new seeding, it's hoary alyssum come up. So the whole field's pretty much ruined. Um, I'm out here seeing if I can make cow hay out of this. I bush hogged this. Well, I mowed it with my hay mower and then I bush hogged it this year once. And it's getting close to that September 15th deadline for us to cut alfalfa to have enough regrowth for carbohydrate stores in the roots to survive the winter on alfalfa. So got a new seeding. So alfalfa's finally taken off. We had a lot of potato leaf hopper damage here that just stunted these new seedings the last couple of years. So I guess they're saying even potato leaf hopper resistant varieties are becoming susceptible to that. But now I'm thinking I might be able to actually get some usable hay. The crabgrass is coming in. This won't be here next year, but they do really eat the crabgrass. And, uh, you know, a little bit of foxtail. So I might get some usable crop if I wait another week. This alfalfa is actually um, coming in now. And everything's too thick for me to just... I was going to try to see if I could mow it with a hay mower and just leave it but now it's too thick for that so we'll see what happens here uh, yeah all my new seedings this year just amounted to squat just couldn't get a yield off them the alfalfa was stunted and wouldn't grow it turned yellow this stuff now in the fall is finally green maybe that alfalfa will come up a little bit we're starting to finally get some water and you got some spots like this there's not much hoary alyssum. A little bit of this plantain, some wild carrot. And some of these spots got a lot of the crabgrass, which I'll take. I just don't know how much hoary alyssum the cows will eat if you got a bale with a lot of it. But yeah, I'm gonna end up saving this field and cut and baling it, I guess. It's really starting to grow. Guys say it's too tall just to cut and leave. I bush hogged it last time and left it. And you can see what I did here. Get a little bit of, yeah, I kind of did smother some crop out. Um, God, you can, only, you can only spend so much time bush hogging and raking and baling up scrub. We went over this first cut and got five bales off 25 acres. So, yeah, well, I guess we're growing here. There, this yellowing of the leaf, getting a lot of leaf hopper damage. You do a sweep, you can't see it on the camera, but you can just see those leaf hoppers jumping right off, right off this plant. So hopefully they kind of 
die back a little bit towards the fogs. Right now we're on August 30th. So disappointing year for new hay seedings anyways for me.